Today we are featuring Leon Chevalier's Cervelo P5 that he will ride for the Ironman World Champs 2022 in Kona. It is a pretty good looking bike in stealth matte black. Let's start with the wheels. Uh, they are most striking with this brand new Headjet 180 on the rear. This is their new ultra deep wheel that isn't a disc, importantly. Uh, pretty impressive wheel and really deep. The deepest wheel you will see out on the Kona course on race day. It is an aluminium fairing, aluminium rim with a carbon fairing over the top. On the front, he's got the Head Vanquish V6, which is obviously their full carbon rim. He's gonna pair those with 28 millimeter tires, front and back, uh, the Continental uh, STRs uh, in 28 millimeter tubeless uh, for the race. He doesn't have those on here yet. He's still got 25 millimeter on here and I think 28 millimeter on the front. Moving on to his crank set and his drivetrain, he has Shimano Dura Ace 12 speed, the new one on the rear, but a one by on the front, a rotor two in power crank set and 170 millimeter uh, crank length, uh, two in power, obviously his power meter, and he's paired that with a 58 millimeter round uh, rotor ring, not one bar specific. At the moment, he doesn't have a chain catcher on there, but he tells me he's going to put a chain catcher on for the race, just in case uh, he does have a chain drop. Uh, the, the chain ring he's got on there is not one bar specific, so obviously not holding that chain absolutely perfect, uh, but he will put a chain catcher on for race day. On the back, he's got a Altegra cassette actually, which is an 1134 to give him just enough gears to get up Harvey, he tells me. He's not too worried about the uh, steepness of the Harvey ascent. So a 58-34, he tells me will be sufficient to get him up there. He's got his rotor two in power paired to a Garmin Edge 530 head unit where he's gonna see all his power numbers on race day. And then his hydration solution is three bottles, a between the arms large bottle from Precision Hydration, a behind the saddle large bottle from Precision Hydration. Both of those held in place with a highly technical elastic band so that they don't rock it out of there and he doesn't lose them. And then of course, on the frame itself, he's got the Cervelo P5 specific uh, aero bottle. All of those will have his specific mix of gels and water that he likes to use on race day. His bento box on the top tube, he tells me, will be where his spares are kept. He's currently got a uh, tube shoved underneath his saddle, which I assume is gonna stay there, but then obviously the gas and tire levers will be in that bento box on front. Uh, he's got the standard Cervelo Aero bars, but he's got Radsport Ebert uh, arm cups or elbow cups on there at a pretty steep angle uh, so that he can hold the top of those ski extensions. His other two contact points on the bike, other than those elbow cups, are his pedals, which are look Keo Blade Carbon, and his saddle, which is an ISM PN 3.0. Obviously, the bike we're looking at today is not completely dialed for the race. It's still a good few days before the race, so I'm sure he's gonna dial it all in before race day and do the final tweaks on it, but still a very good looking and very fast looking bike with no frills, no fuss, just pure speed. Okay, and because you guys always ask, I'm gonna give you a free hub sound check on this brand new wheel. So let's give it a spin. I feel like that might just go all day. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up and remember to subscribe to GTN for our other pro bikes and other triathlon content.